so excited. You're watching Day Now with Connie and Chrissy. I'm your host, Connie Henriquez, and my crazy co-host, Chrissy Bud. What's up? I've been waiting all week for this happy hour. Oh, my God. Thank you. Thank you. Did we have a show last week? I don't remember, Connie. I don't remember I, do you think either. I remember? I don't even remember yesterday. I don't remember two days ago. I don't remember before. What are you going to do? All I know is you were away, and I didn't see you, and I had no contact with you. But we're excited. We're doing a Fire Island house together. Oh, my God. Yeah. I can't wait. Date night on location at Fire Island, guys. That's right. Watch out, because we're going to do some short little snippets of we date are. night in Fire Island Straight and what that looks like. Straight from my favorite place on Earth, Hauser's, and we're going to be drinking Zippies. My favorite band will be there. I'm sure Jay House will be jamming out there. I've never been to Hauser's. Oh, well, that's the home of the Zippies, really? Connie. Wait till I bring you and Jeff there. To the Zippies. Up, oh, Larry, Larry is watching live from Come FI. On, Larry. Kudos to you. Wait a minute. Larry should be at Hauser's right now. Why is he not there? I hope he's there when we're there. I know. Larry, are weeks. you drinking Zippies? Let us know. Two weeks. I want to know. be hanging with us. Are you playing PlayStation right now or are you at Hauser's? <laughs> Hopefully he's at Hauser's right now having fun. It's Friday night, people. No. Come on. He doesn't like Fire Island. So I don't know how you don't like Fire Island. You know what? I was never a fan. I can't even say I'm a fan That's right. Yet, you weren't either. But I'm very open. I love out east. I love oh. the hand. Hamptons. This is going to be a great opportunity to experience it. This is Connie asking me all the details about Fire Island. How long is the walk? What's the address so I could type in how long my walk is? I'm like, Connie, <laughs> it's just only a 10 minute walk from the ferry to the house. She's like, you don't know me. You can't walk. I'm like, we're going to have to walk when we go out to the bars at night. And Jeff's like, what kind of bed are we going to have? Oh, are yeah. A full queen, king? Or like, oh, That's the fall. other thing. She's asking me the size <laughs> of the beds. So I'm like, Connie, we're going to Fire Island. We're not going to the Hamptons, okay? Well, You're getting a twin bed and you have to shove them together and everything's <laughs> going to be fine. You're going to be wasted anyway. That's the plan. It's going to be fine. We're bringing pumpkin with us. Oh, we're going to have a little nugget. Right? Yeah, of course. Oh, God, Let's I hope we don't blessed. forget about them. <laughs> You We're can't. Gonna get like 12 zippies in. Oh, yeah, guys, I forgot. There's a dog back at the house. We got to go back. He'll be fine. He's used, <laughs> he's used to it. Come on. He knows. He'll be like, oh, it's another date night Friday. I'm not getting any love. I hope my sister brings Grace or something for the day. Diana. Because then they can meet each other. You should definitely bring Grace because yes. Pumpkin needs to meet his woman. I feel like they're yes. both the same age. I think they're soulmates. I think they are. Imagine they get married. We put a little bride oh and groom out. Oh, that's Grace so and Pumpkin. <laughs> That's so great. None of them will give a crap. They'll just want treats. That's Andrew right. will be there giving all the treats to all the dogs. Grace is going to put pumpkin in his place like every woman does. <laughs> exactly. I love it. I yeah. love that. that so we're great. so excited. So don't forget, guys, check out. Don't forget, make sure you like our page, number one. Yes, so you can watch. That's right. So you get notified of all our uh, shows because mm -hmm. we will be filming live at a fire island and we're going to have a blast. I can't wait. It's going to be so much fun. Let's do it before I'm 12 zippies in, though, because I don't want to. Of course, because then your makeup's all sweated off. <laughs> I don't, wanna, I don't like know that. what I'll be saying after 12. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens after the event. Chrissy's like, dude, did I say that? Because yeah. I feel like I may have said that. Yes. I'm like, yeah, you kind of said that. The yep. next day, I'm always like, Connie, did yep. I say this, this, and this? You're like, I don't know. I'm like, oh, great. Uh, I, know. I, hope I don't think that. we're hearing from that person <laughs> ever again, Connie. <laughs> but we're also excited because last week, actually, was it last week, the week before? I don't remember. It might have been the week before. Maybe we before yeah but um we had a fun oh, it was last time. week Wait, it was yeah it was just only oh, last wednesday oh man we were in the city we were looking for canal street for That's an hour right <laughs> so chrissy and i headed out to new york city on a wednesday that's it was right a wednesday or th thursday, thursday. Oh, i'm sorry i'm sorry you're right thursday. it was a thursday so we were doing date night for lunch and we actually did a lovely fun exciting podcast that's right our good friend scary jones from z100 elvis duran in the morning show our favorite radio show of all time ever mm -hmm. and we hung out with scary and share knows that's right share knows she's very good at giving dating advice that's right so we did a lovely podcast and we were reviewing the different types of online dating the apps Swiping yep. right, swiping left, what you wear on the first date. What do you put pictures in terms yes. of online dating? How do you wear, you know, how do you Ghosting, wear? Ghosting, mm. which everybody Ghosting. experiences. Right. So we gave some great tips on dating, especially if you're doing online dating. Yeah. You and know, everybody is. Right. What does that look like? And then when you go on a date, what does that look like? Right. So make We sure all you... ganged up on poor Scary, though. He did. Yeah, we did, right? Yeah. yeah. He had some funny one-liners, though, that I'll he never did. forget. He's so funny. <laughs> he He's is. such a riot. You definitely have to check him out on Z100 and the... Uh, Morning Zoo, but yeah. this you can find on iHeartRadio. iHeartRadio, Spreaker. Uh, Are you on the roll? iTunes? iTunes, iTunes that's iTunes, right. Yes. What was the other one? Stitcher? I don't know. I don't know. But it's called Speaking Volumes. With Just Cher Google Speaking Volumes with Sherry. Yeah. It's the best podcast ever. 
Yeah. And it was the most fun because we were on. Yes. Right? Of course. Come on. And we got to go to the city. It was so much fun. It was very easy. It was so great. We went Even though there was a steam pipe uh, blow up uh, two blocks down. Thank God we did not experience that. Exactly. So Christy and I are driving in because we hate the train. Yes. Hello. Mm -hmm. And so we're driving in. It's so funny because we're listening to the news, which of we course. never do, <laughs> but we just happened to put it on for the BB, for BB's sake, you know, if you're watching, Louise. That's right. For your husband's sake about uh, traffic. And uh, they mentioned some steam explosion. And Chrissy's like, oh, no. And I'm like, oh, no. Not in our realm. That's right. You did, you did squash it. That's right. So I said, we're not going there. like my there. dad would be yelling at us right now. That's right. And it worked out perfectly because we did. took the Brooklyn Bridge, which avoided everything. That's right. And then after our wonderful podcast we did with Scary and Cher, yeah. then we tried to find Canal Street. Ugh. Which was a nightmare. We're still looking for it. Right <laughs> now, we're still looking but for it. But we made it there, and then she wanted to find J. Crew. And little did Connie know that she put J. Crew in her Waze app, and it was J. Crew Liquors. So yeah. after all that time, Who knew? we Who walked knew? the opposite way back to J. Crew, and it was J. Crew Liquors, not a uh, clothing store. Which but I we usually, love liquor stores. Right, I usually prefer, but I wasn't going to buy a liquor at that point. I was really looking for a nice sweater but or an outfit. Hysterical. I'm like, we were just at Canal Street, and we left it. Uh, to go to J. Crew Liquors. Come right. On. And then I'm like, well, we'll just get liquor at home. Why so get we it just now? gave up and we were like, all right, let's just go home. We're like, let's get outies. But we had a blast. We did have a blast. Wait. You know when you go to Canal Street, though, uh, all you smell is marijuana. Ugh, That's all I hot. smelled. I love how you could just call it marijuana. Well, what am I going to say? <laughs> I don't like it the was. word pot. And there was like, hey, ladies, you want some Louis yes. Vuitton? And they wanted like, to take us in a secret French. alleyway. All of a sudden, you're French. Right. Yes. You're right. And you the lady, even, right? She wanted us to go over here yes. in the back alley. No, I'm not going with you anywhere you in the back alley. You want some Gucci? No. Yeah. You'll never no. see us again. Yeah. You'll exactly. see us on the 5 o'clock news. Day now would be over. <laughs> My be dad would be looking for us. <laughs> there was a steam pipe uh, burst two blocks down. <laughs> and day night's MIA. <laughs> exactly. But that's okay because we didn't go. We're fine. But, we had, but we had a great time. We did, we did, and it was so much fun. So make sure you check it out. Um, go to iTunes and iHeartRadio. That's and right. And search. Just speaking volumes. With Sharon Scary. That's right. It was the best show ever. That's right. And I did miss you for the last couple of days. I know, I missed because you. Because Jeff and I did take a trip to the Berkshire For your anniversary. For our anniversary. So excited. Happy anniversary thank again. Thank you, thank you. And it's so funny because <laughs> I never even heard of the Berkshires. I did. I knew about yeah, it. Yeah, a lot of people have. I know. The housewives go there. I know, yes. But oh, it's you a the housewife. very <laughs> gorgeous, beautiful resort. Oh my resort. God, that looks beautiful. James, you just totally skipped out on my entrance. <laughs> James Damn. doesn't give a crap. Melissa, you're fired. Uh, no, no, that's, that's all right. That's all right. That's all right. <laughs> so just think, we pull up to this gorgeous long driveway, uh -huh. and we're like, what are we going to expect? It almost looks like Ohika Castle's it driveway. It totally does. Yeah. And then this is what we came to. Mm -hmm. Oh, and wow. That was your place? Yeah. So that's Jesus. It's called the Blantyre. And the great thing is about it is that it's that's the main house. They only have 23 units. Oh. So in that main house, they have like 10, then they have some cottages, and then they have a carriage house where you can have dogs, and it's really nice. That's where you were? By the pool and spot. That's where of we course. were. We were at the Connie was house. by the spot. Of course. By the pool. <laughs> so it's so gorgeous, and it was so oh, nice. Beautiful. That's where we had dinner. Isn't that so beautiful? That's where you had dinner? We did. The conservatory. <laughs> <laughs> what are you? What are we playing? Clue? I know. Oh uh, you God. were Mr. Mustard. I love what that was his movie. Name? <laughs> Professor Colonel Mustard. Mustard. Oh, Colonel Mustard. Colonel Mustard. In the study. Tim Curry. With the uh, honey. Do you remember any of the other characters? Of course, from Clue? Professor Plum. Professor Plum. Professor Plum. Plum. I always loved him. <laughs> Professor Plum. And Madeline Kahn Professor was one of the actresses Plum. in the movie. I that love was that great. movie. Professor Plum was serving you. That's right. It does really look like that, it though. It does. And I have to tell mm. you, it was Did so... anybody get murdered while you no, were eating? No, I, I mean, they could have because I wouldn't have even known <laughs> there were the only people there. Was the food good? Amazing. Kudos to the chef. There. 23 units. They made Our up like two or three. We were like the only, it was like VIP service. Really? Seriously. Oh, my God. At Andrew, the pool, we should have went. Us. James and Melissa, we all should have went together. It would have been a blast. And that's us because we brought pumpkin. And we want to say a big kudos to the Blantyre because so they are very pet friendly. And we go into our hotel room. <laughs> Pumpkin's face is awesome. And, uh, He's like, get me the that. hell out of here with these two. <laughs> <laughs> they keep bringing me all these places. I don't want to go anywhere. <laughs> He's the most traveled dog ever. But what's so nice is the room, when you go into it, they have a like a dog bowl, a uh -huh. dog bed, Oh, snacks. no way. Oh, my God, totally. Why need to take a picture of that? I know. That's I cool. Have. I know. I didn't cool. know that. Yeah, it was, yeah. 
Oh, that's awesome. Anyway, wow. so kudos to the Blant. I think I'm saying it Blantyre. Blantyre? Blantyre. Blantyre. That's right. It was oh, gorgeous. Whatever. You're giving them Gorgeous. Go, 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 go. Stay there. It's All awesome. Right. People well, are very attentive and are very nice. They are? Totally. I like when people are attentive. Totally. Like, let's we should have talked about that on the podcast. I yeah. like when a man is attentive. It makes such a difference, right? <laughs> yes. It shows appreciation. Mm -hmm. Do you know I asked for coffee in the main house for, with Splenda? Because I love Splenda. Okay. I don't care if it's chemicals, people. Don't, it's right. Don't yeah. comment. But the next day in our room, there was a whole box of Splenda. Now that's your soulmate. Soulmate. <laughs> soulmate, yes. But yes, so we had a blast. So. It was playing margarita. Then, uh, hmm. left the Splenda oh, there and they had a full bar. A Are full you kidding bar me? In your room? room? Yes. Of Tito's? Uh, they had Kettle One. That's I all right. Kettle One's wow. pretty good. Yep. All right, well, you guys were living the life. They had Kettle One, Maker's Mark, a bunch of stuff, and they're like, oh, it's on the house. I mean, don't Are get me wrong. Are you kidding me? We paid for it in the room, but uh, I will appreciate that you added that. Well, thanks for inviting us, guys. Yeah, no, uh, we would have no. enjoyed it as well. <laughs> <laughs> I want to eat the dog treats. <laughs> there you go. I want to take the dog bed there and the dog go. treats. You're right. Allah. You know what? You're right. I'm sorry. I forgot to think about it. That's you. all right. No. Whatever. But I'm happy we're back. Thanks. We're I'm only your friend for five years. So we're doing Fire Island together. I can't wait. But uh, you guys have a problem with the bed situation. We're going to have to figure that out. We're going to have to figure that out. I don't know how to deal with a full bed or <laughs> All something. All right, don't worry about it. It'll Just be still fine. It'll be wasted. Nothing. That's don't right. Don't worry about it. It'll be t uh, Tito's or Kettle One, whatever. I'll be fine. Tito's. Yeah. But anyway. Jets so Army when I did my rap video. You know what? <laughs> yeah. Jets Army. In the house. Jets Army. Oh, in right. the house. You could Google that on YouTube. <laughs> Jets Army in the house. DJ Chef wrote that whole song. Uh, he's brilliant. Jets Army in I the mean, house. he did a great job at writing it. Yeah. I, sound, I sound horrible. No, you didn't. You sounded great. All right. You're like the best mm. rapper. All right. Ever. <laughs> All right, so we're ready for my tip. Yes. I'm talking about rap. <laughs> yeah, Star Living Life tip of the week. Yeah. Tip of the week, tip of the day. All right. Mean people are unhappy people. Why would you ever be offended by that, right? Good one, Connie. So think about it. And we get this a lot on our stuff, right? Because we're yeah. out there. People know who we are. Sometimes people comment nicely, and some people comment not nicely. Yes, we've gotten a lot of not nicely, and I wanted to uh, choke them. Punch them, them in their face, right. And, and Connie's so, always like, eh, who cares? Yeah, right. So the point is, what you want to remember is people that are critical or not happy, or mm -hmm. really, people that are critical are not happy. Yes, you're right. So you really can't be offended by someone because if they're commenting in a negative way, it's just because they're not happy with their own life. And sometimes when they see someone else like going out and having fun and living something so different, mm -hmm. it is annoying. I totally get it. But so the you're whole right. point is don't be offended by other people and how they treat you. You know, focus on yourself and being happy and however else. So just ignore it? Just ignore it. Ignore the bully comments because a lot of people are bullied online. Of course. And send them Even love celebrities, texts, they mentally. get the worst of it. Oh, my God. What about, oh, forget it. I was going to say something, but no. But the whole point is, yes, you're right. Lots of celebrities get criticized mm -hmm. all the time. And the point is, if you want to be successful, if you want to make a big difference in life, you will be criticized and you have to yep. be okay with that. And all that's right. part of the process of being okay with being you and getting out there and really having a show, right? So it's not taking it personal, which I used to take it very personal, and you used to teach me, don't take it personal. I'm like, dude, I'm flattered they watched our show. Yeah, you always used to tell me, I'm like, what do I comment back? I'm going to come there and choke you to death? And I'm like, no, just say thank you for watching. I'm like, I'm, I'm like excuse me? I shouldn't say I'm going to come over there and choke you to death? Connie's like, no, just say thank you for watching. I'm like, I don't understand what you're saying to me, <laughs> honey. Thank exactly. You no, but you're, you're right. Yes. I wish I was like you, more mm. calm like that. Oh, you're getting there. You're All getting right. there, too. All right, it'll take me till I'm 90 years old, and I won't know what's going on. No! <laughs> so anyway, so uh, Star Living Life in 30 Days. Go to starlivinglife.com. There's a kids program that I do oh. to teach your kids early on what we wish we knew as a yep, kid. And that's it's right. called Don't Be Offended by People That Are Unhappy. Because and I wish I did is. know that as a kid. And every kid should know that. Exactly. All right, well, now time for my bestie of the week, moving from helping children to <laughs> <laughs> drinking alcohol. Because Connie and I love alcohol. Yes, exactly. Um, so it's very hot outside. It's very humid, right? Oh, totally. Oh, you started with that. <laughs> yeah, was that wrong? So Oops. I loved frozen fruit Oops. pops when we were growing up, right? The ice so, pops. I love. My mom used to make them. I love them. Well, now they have one for adults. Ah. They have booze in them, Connie. Yeah. Right? Fruit -o pop. Fruit of pop, I hope I'm saying it right. Mm -hmm. It's all natural ingredients. Love it. Right? No added sugar, which we love because we don't want added sugar. And 5% alcohol. I mean, that's a lot. Come on, uh, we need that. Yeah. So they have Moscow Mule, oh, which my honeys was drinking the other night. Ooh. 
Oh, uh, really? They have a Moscow Mule Pop. I mean, these things are amazing. We had them actually at one of the uh, parties out in the Hamptons last Saint year. St. Bart's? Yeah, at the um, Rosé one. Ah, uh, Rosé. Remember? Yes. Oh, yes, and Rose at uh, Summer House yes. we had that. Um, and then also there's the Sparkling Prosecco, Pina Colada. I don't like Pina Colada, but Rosé. Are you guys going to the next party? Yeah, come on. You can move on. Guys. The fruit pop. Fruit of pop. Watermelon margarita. On. I love it. Get your pop on. Watermelon margarita. Now that's the one for us, mm -hmm. right? Because it's pink. It's delicious. Mm -hmm. um, but yes, they have sparkling Prosecco. The rosé. That's the rosé one. I love it. Delicious. I mean, you need this at every party that you're having. Totally. We need this at our date night after party, right? I need it for every event that I'm at. I parties. I just miss. You remember those ice pups? Like the blue. Remember yes, those? Yes, but you need the scissors. Those? You need the scissors yeah, yeah, to cut yeah, yeah, the yeah. top. They right. The blue. And they like the 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 purple. Right. And then you stick your tongue out, and your mouth's all yes. purple and blue. Of course. How brilliant of an idea is this? I now love it has it. booze in it. Mm -hmm. You can go to fruitapop.com and get yours today. You can order a pack, a value pack of it. That's not my hand, by the way, but no. uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's a not. cool shot, though. Cool shot. Uh, but uh, Connie and I love anything alcohol related. related. So uh, yes. I loved when I saw Fruitapop, and we tried it last summer. And uh, we're actually going to have it at one of our date night after parties. Yeah, so we'll keep you posted, peeps. Yes. Go buy it in the interim. That's right. Just and you go know, to fruitapop.com. And the good thing is, too, like, if you have kids, right, you're like, oh, my God, how's your, you know, you give them the real pop. Right. And then you're like, oh, I'm going to have one, too. And then you use a fruit -a pop And yes. then, then you forget, like, you have kids. Well, that's like <laughs> when, when, when my sister and my brother-in-law take my nephews to Hauser's. Yes. They're drinking the real zippies with the Bacardi Limon in it, but then they get the virgin zippies for my nephews. I love it. Diana, Frank, we love you guys. And that's Ethan and Mason always say, can I have a zippy? I'm like, oh, what? Yeah. They're ordering like, zippies now. Like, pop off kid. At no. 10 years no. old, they're ordering zippies. That's right. The well, I'm saying their age these. wrong. I don't even remember anybody's age. Ethan's 20 <laughs> and uh, Mason's 23. Ethan and Mason are 25. Oh, oh they're my... twins, so they have to be the same age. I totally screwed that said, one up. Oh, my God. I don't think they're 10. This I don't even know, guys. Anyway, but we're excited. <laughs> we're excited, dude. Who do we have here tonight? DJ Treas Ducati in the house and Natasha Comis, yeah. amazing recording artist. They're amazing. We can't hear, wait to hear them perform. They're going to be on set in about two minutes. So get a Tito's, get a Fruit of Pop, whatever. Fruit of Pop, go order it now. And we're back. Yeah. yeah. Dino in the house. DJ DJ Treas <laughs> Treas Ducati. And recording artist Natasha Comis with a beautiful voice. She has a beautiful voice. Oh, my God. Met you guys at uh, Pink, Pink, Tie. Pink Tie. And you guys did other things solo, but now you're merging together. That's right. That's right. Because yeah. I know that. But you did stuff at MTV, and I worked at MTV. That's right. Which I love. And you also did stuff with Vanilla Ice. Yes, yes. For a and number of years, yeah. And beautiful Natasha also opened up for Sebastian Bach. Sebastian Bach, we love that. LA yeah. Guns. Oh. Who else? Who else? Tell us. Bang Tango, Kicks. I mean, come on. I love it's it. all the hair metal, like 80s rock kind of stuff. So. Yeah. We love that. But so you guys are the real deal. Yeah, but how crazy. We were at Pink Tie. I know. Chrissy and I are floating around. <laughs> floating around. We see these two. We're like, these are the coolest <laughs> people we're ever. In trouble. Yeah, we're like, we have to talk to these people. I know. Then they were on stage with Constantine yes, singing. Yes, we love. And we're like, you know what? They have to be on the show. They have That's to right. be. Thank you guys have for having us. Yeah. Aw, you. you're welcome. You so we yeah. love you guys. Thank yeah. you for being Thank here. You, you guys are awesome. So tell us about what you guys did separately and now how you guys now decided to merge together. Yeah. I'll let you take this one. Um, so, I mean, I guess I would call myself like a rock and roll, you know, musician. Totally. And uh, I mean, I've always been an artist, but the rock and roll started, you know, let's say 10 years ago, and I took that on the road. And my goal was always to be like, I'm gonna, you know, stop, you know, not stop, but when I opened up for like one of the biggest, baddest <laughs> rock stars of all time, and that was, you know, it ended up being Starland Ballroom, Sebastian Box, Skid Row. Wow, Gibro. that's amazing. Yeah, and so uh, until then, it was a lot, of, you know, a lot of learning and struggles and things like that with your band and. You know, a lot of hair metal. It was like literally like we were living 1986 all over again. I love it. So it, it was great. And then in the process of that, I, I did the Paris Hilton show, like you guys said. That's right. Over. We're gonna talk about that. Yeah. Which My, is huge, what was, by what the was way. yeah? What was huge. the show? My new BFF. My new BFF. Yeah, yeah. She did Paris Hilton's My New BFF. You were one of the contestants. I was. Yeah. And I then so that. that's how I met Dreas. Was I was doing a, um, you know, a whole guest spot appearing somewhere and yeah. we had talked about merging the music in the future but wow. this was like 10 years ago but i'll Jesus. let you you know there was a lot of stuff i did modeling and you know american apparel i was their oh, number I one like, i love that yeah story. like i was one of their first like you know big models at billboards Jeez. everything it was you know i was flying all over the country it was 
it was pretty major, you know. So that's awesome. Yeah, but you know, around that time when she had come off that show, she was doing all these appearances, right? And I was always like, listen, you and I should get together, and like you Aww. should, I should DJ for you or something like that. <laughs> and um, it was something Aww. she always wanted to do. And at that time, my career was just sort of coming up. Uh-huh. And uh, here we are, ten years later. It's it's I amazing. I can't believe that. Yeah, that but tell us a little bit about yourself. Too. Yeah, Andreas, were you always a yeah, DJ? Where'd you like, start how'd you start? Well, I I started probably uh, when I was in my early teens, um, probably like eighth grade, thirteen, fourteen eighth years old. Eighth grade. Yeah, and um, oh you know, I, I only had like one turntable at the time, Aww. and uh, they used to call me like the one banded DJ. No, like, no, I could only afford one. But Aww. what happened was I got really good at it because um, most kids had two, so I had to make the most with one. Wow. So what happened That's was impressive. I started figuring out all these tricks and things. So by the time I had two, I was like beating all the other guys in the competitions and stuff like that. Oh but, my uh, God. It's really weird because um, when I was a kid, my mom bought me like a vanilla ice tape um, I love vanilla in seventh ice. grade. I love vanilla Yeah, she got me the tape for like Christmas and, and I was like, oh, cool, you know, and I used to work out all these routines in my room and like dress up and practice the dances and all that stuff. And then uh, as I get older, um, I the guess this, of attraction. I, yes. I don't know, you, See, if you want to call it the Natasha universe or whatever, this. but, uh, you know, we're, we're very spiritual people. So are and, we. Um, you know, if, if you got a dream and you believe in yourself, it was just one of those things that manifested itself. And then he ended up. And then, uh, but and how, then do you, how do you make it manifest? Well, you know what it is? Have um, a big dream. You, it, it, I realized at a very young age, if that was the most important thing that was happening in my life, yeah. in my bedroom, mm-hmm. make you know what I mean? Um, to be able to go from that to all of a sudden now I'm on the big stage and we're in concert arenas, you know, doing it for real. Um, those things can happen if you really want it bad enough. Yeah. So you believed in yourself. Absolutely. Without a and, doubt. And then you ended up going on to DJ for Vanilla Ice yes, on yeah. tour. Yeah. And that was uh, probably, you know, uh, one of the most amazing experiences I've ever had. Wow. Um, and he's a really sweet guy. Is and he? I've, He's like an older brother, you oh. know, role model figure to me, a mentor, all those things. So I learned so much uh, from him on the road. You know, and, and that kind of stuff. So that is amazing. Um, I'll, I'll tell you, I, I wouldn't trade that experience for the world. That's amazing. Aww. Yeah, it, it kind of is. Yeah. yeah. But you're gonna go on tour. Uh, this is gonna be yeah, where yeah, people can sure. buy tickets and come yeah. to the concert. Yeah. That's amazing. So that's pretty impressive. I don't think yeah. anyone's ever done that before. Yeah. What you guys are doing. Well, I I, I think they do, but um. You, like you just you, you don't you don't get Drace and you don't get Drace to cut it. Yeah, and it's Dr. Comas, exactly. No, definitely not. I know, this is, this is a match that? made in the making. Trust me, a lot of people are like, "Oh, those two hotheads." Are, uh, <laughs> yeah. 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 Hey, so tell, I think you guys are very yeah, spiritual, and down to earth, nice people. Tell us about that because you're two independent artists. You have your own thing. Then you come together. Well, we're a lot of like, if anyone knows anything about our past, like if yeah. anyone, if people from our past were to sit here, they'd be like, oh boy, those two. Because we're, yeah. we're, we're a lot, like we, we managed our careers very similarly. Like okay. the way that I dealt, it was just like gung-ho, like no, 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 no. You know, the same way he is. <laughs> oh, wow. And so now it's like, we don't have the, you know, once, you, you know, you're a little older, but you know, I think in your thirties, you're a little more chill, you know what I mean? And yeah. in your twenties, it's like people like us, we're off the rocker, you know? Right. Yeah. So you make no mistake, there's a lot of people I, I, that we both know that when they see us together, I know they're shaking their heads at home. They're like, uh, they're really? Like, oh, no. uh, so. That's good. Like, that's oh no, good. in a but bad way or oh no, in a good in way? Both. In, in both. In, in both, yeah. both. That's great. I think you guys are great together. Yeah. I, I could picture Thank you it. guys being awesome together. I mean, you guys saw us on the stage. I and, like, saw, you saw it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It happens. Yeah. Yeah. You could just tell. Totally. I felt it. Yeah. I can't Thank wait you. to see you guys Thank live. You. We better have front row seats. I know. Oh, totally. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> you better not forget, Trace. <laughs> And you were in the Airborne. Can I bring that yes, up? Because my yeah. dad was an 82nd Airborne that's paratrooper. Right, that's right. So yes. thank you for serving our country. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, just tell us where you served. So, um, so I, I served at Fort Polk, Louisiana, and I was uh, part of the first of 509th Airborne unit there. Oh. That's um, amazing. Many years ago. That's amazing. So. And that's why you're very serious. Your personality yes. is very serious. I know. Yes. Dre, so are you really this serious? I feel <laughs> yeah. like you're not. Natasha, no, really? I am. I am. Always? I'm the more hippie here. Like, uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, it's, yeah. I want to see you laugh, though, Dre. I know. <laughs> Come on, Dre. I, I think this is probably the only time I'm serious. <laughs> what? That's he true. takes it very serious, his, his uh, career. Oh. Almost, yeah. yeah, but I take it serious, too, but it's just I'm more laid back. In a different yeah, way. Yeah. Listen, we take our career serious. Yeah. But you guys uh, have fun. And, yeah, yeah. That's yes. what it is. It's all about yeah. a little bit of, you know. Exactly. We should get him another you know, know. cocktail. Yeah. Exactly. We'll get him uh, 10 more, and then you're going to sing Africa. We're going to do yes. She exactly. really wants that. So. Yeah, Drace and Natasha, you're going to be singing Africa after the show, okay? That's Absolutely. Okay. Before we get to Drace Africa, it okay. before we get to Africa, you're going to do a little something for us, right? Yeah. Can uh, you explain? Yes. Yeah, so tell us what you're going to do for us because we're so excited. Yeah. Um, I think uh, we're going to do a little something on the turntables. <laughs> yeah. Right? 
L yes. A little, a little. Uh, and no one's ever seen this demo. or heard this before. Yeah. <laughs> is this a date night exclusive, Dre? Yes. Yes. It is. Yes. Right. It's a date exclusive. Night. Be excited on, on about it, Dre. Come, Come on, Dre. It's the best show ever. You're wearing a big chain. Right, why don't we? Why don't we have shots? Can we get like two vodka shots? Please? Yes. Of course. My, my honeys will do we'll that. Is that a real chain, Dre? <laughs> Of course. Of course it is. It's, it's Isn't it mine? Actually. It's, it's very real plastic. <laughs> no! Is that recording city? I thought it was white actually, gold. Actually, you know, um, my buddy Nick Cannon um, from MTV. We love Nick Cannon. I love Nick's, him. Nick's is actually solid gold, and yeah. he didn't know back in the 80s when they made these um, dookie chains, is what they're called. Yeah. They're actually hollow. So oh. Nick got his solid, so his weighs like 25 oh pounds. Oh, my God. Yeah. And he wears it like so that? I got, well, I got one up on Nick because mine I, I can actually <laughs> yeah. wear. So. Uh, you can actually walk you hear that, Nick? and be able to carry it. <laughs> you yes. hear that, Nick? That was awesome. I, I love, love that guy. That uh, also, um, I wanted to mention to you guys, so your last guest was Donnie Klang. We love him oh, so much. Are you so, kidding and, me? And you guys know I've, I've DJed for Donnie, and he's, he's a good friend of mine. So he's, we didn't he know was that. one of my favorite that. guests of all. Yeah. That guy is the sweetest guy besides sweetest. Constantine. Him yes. and Constantine, the sweetest, nicest guys I've ever he's, met in my yeah. life. Very, very talented producer. Um, Amazing. So wait, how and, do you guys know talent. each other? Um, Donnie and I uh, hooked up a few years ago. Um, I met him and his DJ uh, in on the nightclub circuit, you know, okay. and we're working in some of the same venues. Um oh. My buddy Ray J uh, came into town from from Los Angeles. Ray J, Ray yes. J, Kim so, Kardashian's Ray J. Oh, yes, that Ray J. Oh, yes, that Ray J. We all know Ray J. I guess. So, <laughs> so, uh, so does everyone else. So Ray J had flown in uh, from LA with his DJ, and I had just finished doing Playboy Mansion out there. Oh, and, you um, did Playboy Mansion? Yes, yes I did. Well, what the hell was that like, Trace? Amazing. Um, did Super Bowl? <laughs> it He's was still very serious. I love that this guy's still very serious. It was, <laughs> it was, <laughs> I love it. Uh, I'll tell you the truth. Awesome. It was. It was, that was uh, awesome. It, it was, was the, amazing. It was the wor worst. <laughs> so day was of my, my life. time backstage at all the rock and roll venues. Yeah, it was amazing. So, like uh, where? So, Good so I, I went Everywhere. to go see Ray J and uh, and his DJ, uh -huh. and uh, they're in one VIP section, and um, a little scuffle kind of broke uh -oh. up. Yeah, you know, a little uh -oh. too much drinking, a little too yeah. much partying. Uh -huh. So next thing I know, in the next VIP section. There's uh, some other guys, and it turns out it's Donnie and his DJ. Oh, oh my God. So we sort of just made friends. and uh, Isn't he the I sweetest, though? And a big yeah. shout out to Donnie. We, we love, love you. We love Donnie. We have to come visit his studio. Up. I know, guys. His studio is right over here. That's great. Right yeah, by our gotta, studio. Donnie, if you're visit. watching, uh, we got to come, uh, come visit. Say hi. He yeah. should have been here That's tonight right. so we could all sing Africa I know. after. We didn't know that. Well, right. Donnie, if you're watching, come here right now. Yes. Right, his guys. studio is right down the block. So listen, so what we're going to do is we're going to pick up a little bit, right? So we're going to be sitting here. We're going to move wait. over. So Facebook Live, you're going to hang out with us and just kind of move over. It's going to be a little sloppy. Don't worry about it. <laughs> the camera, we're going to edit you so we don't care about you. It's all right. You'll be looking at Dreas and Natasha. That's right. We're going to see Dreas and Natasha uh, spin some turntables. I hope Natasha's going to gonna sing, though. I want to hear your I'm, beautiful I'm voice. You no, have a beautiful no, voice. Don't do that to Thank Natasha. You. She she's wants to sing, Dreas. No, she's not ready. <laughs> It's, right. No, I'm so ready. It's just we didn't, we didn't, uh, we didn't prepare. Either way, guys. All right. This is Date Wait. Night TV. Yes, God. Where all can right? everybody find yeah. you guys? You too. can find us, well, me at NatashaComas.com. And you can find me at DreasDucati.com. Or just go to Facebook. Or Instagram. Yeah. What's <laughs> you our guys Facebook? are good. It's, uh, Dres. You can you can find me at um, Dre's Ducati official fan page on Facebook Ooh. and Dre's no, Ducati on Instagram. Facebook? It's Dres and Dres. Our, Dres. our Facebook is NKDD. Is it that's what it just is? Yes. Facebook NKDD. Yeah. I love it, guys. There so that's where you can follow them and you'll see their tour dates coming up. I can't wait to go to their show. Exactly. Awesome, We're going to be guys. front row. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks for having us. Thanks guys. for having us.